the Fenway Bowl, Cincinnati against Louisville. The old keg and nails rivalry. Uh, Louisville, a two-point favorite. Total sits at 40. This one's Saturday, December 17th, 10 a.m. Central Time. This is a weird, weird game to cap. Obviously, Luke Fickle is gone from Cincinnati. Scott Satterfield is gone from Louisville. Of all places, Scott Satterfield headed to Cincinnati. It, it's a weird, weird situation. There's a lot of defensive coordinators, offensive like. They, they, how about this? A lot of assistant coaches that will not be here. Uh, both starting quarterbacks are out for the game. So you got Evan Prater on one side, you got Doman on the other side. And this one's weird. This one's just weird. So let's let's hit up the numbers, uh, even though I don't know that they necessarily mean anything. Uh, over the last six weeks of the season, I would have Cincinnati favored by about a point. Uh, and that is, that is opponent adjusted. So the schedule strength, you know, Cincinnati number 95, Louisville number 49, that's that's one thing. This total, again, sits at 40 right now. Like, I would have had it about 41 and a half or so. Um, but that was based on having all of your players, having your coaches, etc. cetera. Uh, both of these teams kind of pride themselves on defense. That's I think that's the biggest thing. Now, you got some guys that are opting out of this game, I believe. I believe uh, Hardaway, the cornerback for Cincy, is not going to play. Uh, Malik Cunningham on the other side is not going to play. Like, there's there's guys that both teams are going to miss here. If we just go based off of numbers, you start looking at points per play margin. Since he's number 24, Louisville number 32, uh, that Louisville defense is awesome. Uh, and even though you start to look at, you know, just individual matchups for Cincinnati's defense, they still don't give a ton of points. Uh, they're number 12 in defensive points per play. Like, that's, that's phenomenal. Louisville is number 13. So... Definitely something to pay attention to here. Uh, the Louisville defense, fantastic against the pass, which is what Cincinnati tries to do. However, with Prater back there, run or uh, quarterback, I would have to imagine that they are going to try and do a few more things on offense as far as running the ball. Uh, you got Kerry Combs as the interim coach. He seems a little more conservative. I don't think that they're going to try and throw the football as much with Evan Prater because he's just not as good at throwing the ball as Ben Bryant was. So I think that kind of changes uh, the way that this game is going to be played. You look at Louisville's offense, I mean, number 72 PPA per pass, number 69 PPA per rush. Uh, there's just there's not a whole lot for their offense either. You look at points per scoring opportunity, Louisville can't finish drives. They're number 98 in points per scoring opportunity, 3.34 points per drive inside the 40. Uh, Cincinnati's good at stopping that. They just are. Uh, Cincinnati... You know, better at average field position on both sides of the ball. Like this, this certainly plays to me uh, to a Cincinnati cover, uh, Cincinnati win. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Um, I I like Cincinnati here uh, quite a bit, even though I mean it, it's almost impossible to bet on this game. Uh, but I'll take Cincinnati plus the two if you have to do it in like a pick'em or something along those lines, uh, because I just this it's it's weird. It's a weird handicap. You don't know what you're going to get out of out of other team. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app, and make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at Gary WCE, and the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.